Um, today, our topic is resources on the UC Berkeley campus. Um, we have with us Darren Cook with the Life Sciences Entrepreneurship Center. Hi, Darren. Hey. Um, it's great to have you with us. Um, would you like to explain to us what the goal of the new Berkeley Life Sciences Entrepreneurship Center is? Yeah, I would love to, and thank you for having me. So Berkeley LSEC, the Life Sciences Entrepreneurship Center, is number one, just as a bit of background, it's funded by a gift from two alumni donors, Mark Robinson and David Kern, and their families, both very active in the life sciences field. And, and their motivation was they wanted to see more great life science startups coming out of Berkeley. And the, the, the core goal of Berkeley LSEC was to help with the perceived problem on campus is that we have so many fantastic life sciences entrepreneurship resources, but they were difficult to navigate and confusing to new or would-be founders as to what's the best use of their time and what order to, to take advantage of them. And so the fundamental goal of Berkeley LSEC is to support these brand new life sciences innovators or, and, and startups coming out of, out of academic labs at UC Berkeley. So how does um, the LSEC fit into the existing web of resources that are available on the UC Berkeley campus? Yeah, so it's, I think it's important to emphasize that Berkeley LSEC is a 100% help model, meaning that we absolutely don't duplicate existing resources already on, on campus. We do provide basic resources where we've uh, discovered that there's a white space and a real need to support life sciences entrepreneurship on campus, but fundamentally the way that we fit within the, the web of, of resources that we have is really a navigation facility where new founders or, or those who are interested in starting a company can literally meet with me one-on-one -on -one for tailored advice through office hours and uh, because I've worked in the ecosystem, even though I've been the head of Berkeley LSEC only since May of 2021, I, I've worked in the, the Berkeley Life Sciences ecosystem since 2016. So I'm familiar with, with uh, the different opportunities and different, different strengths of different programs are. And the way for individuals who are interested in getting this tailored advice is I would send you to the LSEC website, which is lsec.berkeley.edu. And there's a, a link right there to sign up for, for office hours and, and put a, a meeting on, on both of our calendars. Yeah, oh, that's great to know. Um, so what do you define as life sciences? Because um, you know, with startups, it's, it's a collaborate of mm -hmm. industry or different topics. Yep. Yeah, so that's a good question. Life sciences within our definition would be uh, primarily therapeutics and diagnostics, but also including med device, a little bit of digital health, uh, but then also research tools would be a, a fundamental part of the, the life sciences field that, that Berkeley, Berkeley LSEC works in. Okay. Um, so would you like to also tell us a little bit about what kind of resources available on campus that um, the LSEC can help? entrepreneurs get um, to know? Yeah, so if anyone is interested in what resources the Berkeley campus has around entrepreneurship, we have a, a website that is comprehensive, really lists everything in a, a organized way, which is called Berkeley, sorry, Berkeley Begin, begin.berkeley.edu. Uh, and those who go onto it can see that it really does start from the fundamental of where do you begin if you're interested in entrepreneurship from classes and basic educational resources all the way to incubators, accelerators, and then funding sources? Okay, yeah, that's a great resource. So um, I guess, how is Berkeley LSEC working with the numerous accelerators and incubators on campus um, in this instance? Yeah, so I'm, I'm familiar with the incubators and accelerators, just because as mentioned, I've, I've been working in the ecosystem since 2016. Uh, I'm an instructor for UC Launch at, at Haas, and then I 
I chaired the BioTrack at Skydeck since its inception in 2018 and oversaw the selection committee for seven cohorts. So I, I understand how these accelerators work and what the strengths of each of them are. And so the main way that we work with the existing incubators and accelerators is again in the navigation capacity. So founders, whether they've actually started a company or just interested in it, can meet with me and I'm happy to give advice and, and, and basically you know, some information from my experience about which ones would be a good fit and some basic information about each of them. So the other way we do help with incubators and accelerators is that Berkeley LSEC, as I've mentioned before, has discovered a little bit of white space around basic life sciences, entrepreneurship, education, and programming. And so this, these would be, these programs, which I'm happy to talk about, would be open to any of the uh, participants in the different incubators and accelerators. So um, I know that the Berkeley LSEC is working or planning to work closely with the NSF i program um, to utilize its current curriculum with a life sciences twist. Um, so uh, what is that program about and what is your motivation behind this kind of collaboration? Yeah, so Berkeley, so NSF i is a customer discovery lean startup program that I've taught since 2017, not only at Haas, but also for the NSF and the NIH. And this is a, a program that teaches founders how to understand their market, their customer. And this is through a process of what we call customer discovery interviews, that is actually going out and meeting and talking to people. And what I've discovered after seeing hundreds of teams go through the process, that this is just a fundamental uh, resource that helps almost every team almost at no matter what stage that they're at. And so we've always had life science teams go through the one week NSF i program at Haas, but the fact is that they've been mixed in with other technologies really from uh, runs the gamut. Mm -hmm. Because so much of what the teams learn in the program is not just from the interviews that they do outside of the building, but from learning from really what the other teams in their cohort are learning we realized that there would be a real benefit to having an all life sciences cohort. And so we're running eight teams through in a one week program where they're expected to do 15 customer discovery interviews. But the beauty of it is that all eight teams are within the same general field of, of life sciences. I see. And I'll, I'll note that we do plan to run this once a quarter. The, the regular program at Haas runs once a month. I see. Um, so then, other than the i program that um, you are envisioning, what are some other new programs that are coming up on the UC Berkeley campus that you know of? Yeah, so Berkeley LSEC, is, like I, I said, when, when we launched it, the first thing that I did was begin to do my own customer discovery around what were the needs and wants and opportunities for a brand new center to, to help fill. And so we've discovered a couple things. The, the one that was a surprise to me, and like I said, because I'd worked in the ecosystem for five years, I thought, you know, we have so many great programs already that anyone who's interest, interested in entre entrepreneurship could take step or form and fund or do the UC Launch Accelerator or Pad 13 at Skydeck. But what I discovered is that a lot of people who are curious about entrepreneurship really just want the lowest lift in terms of educational programming, just to really understand if this is something that works for them and their life and their uh, interest in what is involved with starting a company. And so I am, we're, we're putting on a program this fall in early November with QB3, which we're calling Lunch to Launch. And what that means is that during the course of one week, we'll have five lunch meetings co covering different topics around entrepreneurship with the goal of that if you attend each of these, whether in person or virtually, by Friday at 1 p.m., you'll have a pretty good idea is like, is this for you or are you better off pursuing other endeavors? And so that's one thing that we're excited about launching the Lunch to Lunch program uh, 
later this fall. The other, if I may, is that and this is not really a surprise, but something that I heard again and again in customer discovery interviews is that especially scientific founders who have a technology are very interested in being connected and finding other potential co-founders or at least other teammates who have complementary skills. And typically for a scientific founder, that would be a business student or somebody in engineering. But it's a real challenge because of they're not in the same department and not in the same classes to, to meet these people. Some companies have gone above and beyond to actually take classes in other departments with the express motivation to find a, a co-founder with complementary skills. So in coordination with IPRA and the Haas Healthcare Association, Berkeley LSEC plans to put on a program basically to f facilitate these happens happenstance interactions between different potential founders in a program we're calling speed teaming. And if it sounds like speed dating is because it's very similar to speed dating, meaning that we put different people in different virtual rooms for a very short meeting with the hope that there's just some sort of connection made with the understanding that probably, well, certainly almost all of the meetings, there will be no connection made. It, you know, it may be perceived as uh, a waste of time. However, with the goal of maybe one out of 20 of these meetings to be something really synergist synergistic, uh, it could result in, in something uh, quite fruitful for both parties. Yeah, that sounds really exciting. Um, then I guess on the other end, do you, are there any programs for uh, more younger students um, that are still exploring the world of entrepreneurship like undergrads? Um, that would, uh, that's available on campus. Yeah, so Berkeley LSEC is funded from the same gift that also funds the Robinson Life Science Business and Entrepreneurship Program, which is a dual degree program between molecular and cell biology and the Haas School of Business. And this is uh, available to undergraduates who are interested in both biology and business. It's a rigorous program where you come out of it with a bachelor's degree in science, but also from, from the business school. And any information, if, if people want to know more about that, that um, is available on the, on the website. It's called the LSBE website, uh, LSBE program. Okay, that's, that's really cool. So um, I guess as an ending question, what are some of the resources are, are, what is a resource that is good for a entrepreneur that is interested in um, looking at the Berkeley resources, but probably doesn't, can't reach you um, easily uh, to, you know, learn about the diverse set of resources on campus? Yeah, so fundamentally the BEGIN website, begin.berkeley.edu is, is really the, the master list of all of the, the resources that we have on, on campus. Beyond that, what I recommend really for anyone who is curious to know more about this is just to be on the lookout for events that seem even moderately interesting and go to them and talk to people. And the thing is maybe half of them will turn out to be something that wasn't worth your time, but maybe the other half will turn out to be something amazing and you'll make connections and have ideas and meet people that otherwise you wouldn't have encountered. And so the way I find most of events like that on the Berkeley campus is follow the different entrepreneurship resources on Twitter and on LinkedIn, because those are the two social media platforms that it seems to be they're consistently advertising and promoting different events like this. Mm -hmm. And you know, frankly, this is where I, I find most of the information about what, what events are relevant to me. That's great advice. Thank you, Darren, um, for joining us today, and thank you for all your advice. Yep, you're welcome. Great. Uh, nice talking to you, Yi. Thanks for checking out the EBI seminar series. If you enjoyed the series, please like this video and subscribe to the EBI YouTube channel for more content on entrepreneurship and biotech. All of our social media will also be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for watching.